If it seems like there are more sales than usual, it's because there are. Simply, these stores have too much stuff. It's been the talk of many retailers' earnings calls. I would say there's going to be a, 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 a I hesitate to call it a bloodbath, but it's going to be ugly uh, in terms of um, the amount of discounting and markdowns. These big inventories aren't just a good deal for your closet, they're a classic example of the bullwhip effect. Here's why these stores have such large inventories and what all these sales mean for the economy. Nothing shows the problem more clearly than this chart. It's the ratio between inventories and sales for general retailers, places like Walmart or Macy's. For the last several years, retailers have been pretty good at keeping just a bit more inventory than sales. It's a good balance of keeping enough stock on hand to not have bare shelves, but not wasting money to store too much extra inventory. And then, of course, COVID happened. But after a year of supply chain issues, the economy began to recover and inventories got slightly back to normal. Yet today... It's like an echocardiogram for a patient who goes into shock. We had really fast economic growth in 2021, and part of that growth was building up inventories. And what a lot of companies discovered was they built up too much, and in some cases they built up inventories of the wrong stuff. Retail experts say the buildup is partly because the stores wrongly planned that consumers would keep up their pandemic-level spending, and partly because of that bullwhip effect. Think back to 2020, when demand for athleisure wear was high. Stuck in quarantine, people stocked up on yoga and sweatpants. You know, I'm kind of happy with my Target yoga pants <laughs> lately, <laughs> working from home. So retailers placed more orders for lounge apparel with the wholesalers, who then placed more orders with the manufacturers, who then placed more orders with their suppliers. The further down the line this chain went, the demand got larger and larger. And by the time the pants could be passed back down the line and fill the racks at the stores, the demand just wasn't there. They ordered stuff that took a, a really long time to get there because of all the supply chain issues they had. And then they discovered that the stuff that they had ordered from the overseas suppliers was no longer what a lot of consumers wanted to buy. Replace yoga pants with air fryers and big TVs. And add inflation, which has caused people to shift their spending. The inventory bullwhips that we're seeing are very uneven across industries. And that's one of the reasons why inflation is very uneven right now. In the mid-1900s, inventories were a driver of recessions, mainly because a lot of things were made in the U.S., too much inventory meant stores would place fewer orders. So plants would slow production, the other side of the bullwhip. When they cut production, they laid off workers, workers spent less, we went into a recession, and you had this kind of easily defined business cycle. Well, so because the economy has changed so much, because we import a lot of what we consume from overseas, because there's these just-in-time inventories, it's hard to say how the bullwhip is going gonna, is gonna to play out this time. Instead of hitting the United States, hit other countries like China. China's economy is really struggling right now, and this might be part of that story. So how should we feel about these sales? If everything is on sale, is it good because it could bring down inflation? Or is it not good because businesses are losing money, which could lead into a recession? You know, on the one hand, uh, it's, good, it's good news for many individuals because they get cheaper stuff. In some ways, it's good news for businesses because they're clearing out their inventories. But it could be also be bad news because it's a process that can feed on itself. It could hurt corporate profits. It could drive down stock prices. This is the inherent tension in a market-driven economy. There's always two hands. These sales are likely to continue throughout the year, a reprieve from inflation many shoppers are eager to take advantage of. But the bullwhip hasn't had its final snap yet. 